Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the resolution of dynamics. I try to break each part of resolution down into different parts and explain each part and hopefully then, then you'll understand you know, all this craziness we have to go through to get to it because resolution is a multi-level issue. It has six or eight different levels that really have to be satisfied before you go, oh wow, that sounds really good. You know, it's that aha moment that you, you look for. And that's, you know, that 80, 90% resolution. So that's kind of our goal. Fundamentals, strike sound, it's the head of the energy. It's the beginning of the free wavelength, let's call it, okay? And the harmonics, that's the life. So if this is the strike, this is the life. And then all the harmonics are parts of its life that it lives. So you can think about it as a living wavelength, in a way, if you think about it. Maybe I need to get out of the studio a little bit more. <laughs> but anyway, low frequency fundamentals, they must have a very linear attack and decay rate. You know, because the attack is really important. But if you overabsorb to get a real tight attack, you're going to hurt the first, second, third, and fourth order harmonics. So you got to be careful when, you, when you're designing and using absorption, you kind of use the fundamental, the, the head, but you also have to keep in mind the harmonic tail. Because if you just design for the fundamental attack, you're probably overabsorbing in the harmonic side. But that's where diffusion come, can come in as a tool. To punch the harmonics up for you. So you can overabsorb and get definition, and then you can bring diffusion in for the harmonics and make the room sound larger. So boy, it's a, it's a win-win across the board. The room must be pressure balanced everywhere. Here, here, and here. With length height. It has to be pressure balanced. Because you're filling a container full of pressure, like Take an air hose and plug it into your room and fill. It's only going to hold so much pressure, right? Just like your tire on your bike. You can overinflate. Well, people do it all the time. Well, I have four 18-inch subwoofers. Really? And then I ask them the room dimensions, and it's a closet, basically. So, see, this makes no, no coherency at all. So, factoring out, you know, all that other human stuff. But you cannot have resolution without this pressure balance. Because modes are like three, three and a half feet wide. And they're everywhere. Across all the walls, across the ceiling, floor to ceiling. And then they're, they slice the room up tangentially, four, four across, four cuts, two cu cuts for axial modes, four cuts for tangential, six cuts for oblique. A lot of energy being uh, messed with here. So here's the thing, you gotta be willing to give up 12 to 16 inches to treat the low frequency, almost in any room. It's just the way it is. We have the world's most powerful technology, and this is what we need. Those other people can't even come close. To get the performance of our carbon panel, you would probably need 60 to 70 inches of building insulation just to get down. You wouldn't get any rate either. That's why it's all nonsense. Only our CAW system can achieve 80 to 90 percent resolution in the low frequency side. We can do it. We'll guarantee it for you. Do before and after measurements. We don't care. Pick your own engineer. I don't care. We'll fix it because we're going after the room modes every 14 and a half inches. That's the distance between the stud spaces. Nothing can hide. And here's the beauty of the CAW. We know that every wall surface have a different frequency and amplitude problem. So we focus on the frequency and the amplitude. If the floor to ceiling has, let's say, plus 12, plus 13, we can increase the thickness of the carbon filter that goes inside and between the studs to go after that plus 11 or plus 12. So we can tune the room every 14 and a half inches, four walls and floor and ceiling. Think about that. That's pressure balance. That's what you got to do, okay? 
Look at the performance of our ACDA12. Look at the percentages. 35, 60, 100. Look at the linearity. Okay, so reflections, our foam technology, pressure and reflections. Remember those are the two? Look at the graphic here. What do you see? Linearity. 125 to 500. Look how smooth it is. Took me eight years to get that. A couple million dollars. It's huge for voice and music. That's how you get resolution. That's how you get resolution in the fundamentals and the harmonics. You pay attention to all these different layers. And you got to make sacrifices. And you got to decide if it's worth it. Most of our customers, I would say all of our customers, it's worth it to them. Resolution of dynamics. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.